as a human that was sentient but couldn't ascend. So they was trapped in the infinity loop. And to keep them uh, um, from violating the galactic law, everybody was uh, wanted to give up a drop of blood, but some of the ones that had been conditioned to having these people as their pets, because that's what they called them. They call us over here in the Americas X, because they say we always rallying around some queen. Just what they say, mm -hmm. right? And so um, they talk about our matriarchy and the grand matriarch. And when she say, fuck them niggas up, we going all we could be fighting in young girl could be having a full blown fist fight and big mama can say, Hey, go beat them niggas ass down the street. We gonna stop, go whoop them niggas ass, have dinner, and then tomorrow we might be fighting again. <laughs> but the motherfuckers big mama said get got got. Yeah, that's right. That's why Tupac said in his song, we might fight amongst each other, but I promise you this, we'll burn this bitch down, get us pissed. Get us pissed. Right. We pissed. We was pissed in the seventies. We ain't pissed no more. We pissing on motherfuckers now. The same that did the dirt. We giving them the same considerations they gave us. None. <laughs> Ships and carriages that they rolled in on, because they call them steel carriages that fly. Fuck them. So what we got in the comments, Elder? Good question for you. The brother love says, "Could you break go in on Pindar and what's his connection with the queen and all the you know the whole thing with Pindar?" Um, I I don't have any information to relay on that right now. Only thing I know about Pindar is that they said Pindar was one of the uh, people that impregnated Diana, and that uh, they took the, he took he did the ritual on her. I heard that Arizona Wilder was talking. Oh, about you talk he talking about the Arab dude? I don't know. Uh, I don't know how he looked. I never could find a picture of him. But they said, talking about the dude Princess Diana was with the night she's supposed to die. Yeah, Pindor. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What well, they was trying to extract her, which they was successful. See, that whole situation with Diana was a Secret Service versus Secret Service in Europe. It was MI5 versus MI6. One of them was tasked with killing her. The other one was tasked with protecting her. Hmm. Right. So what they end up doing is the ones tasked with protecting her thought it would be easier if they faked her death when they came for her, let them think they got him killed her. She didn't even get in that car. She switched cars out on them and they didn't even know it. Mm. But I ain't the one to talk, so you ain't heard it from me. Yeah, you said it first though, just like you said when that, that thing fell off the uh Queen Elizabeth, the uh, Buckingham Palace, that's when it was dead. Yeah. So, oh, man, I'm with you, bro. You, you be saying yeah, she, they come back, they come back later, and now they saying that she did. They just not announcing. Yeah, mm -hmm. I told everybody like a year and a half ago. I say, uh, well, first when she was uh, she had got sick because they wouldn't let her get no adrenochrome, so she was suffering without the adrenochrome already. And um, on the Wind Talker channel, they asked me if they should uh, put her out of misery or let her suffer. I said, let that bitch feel some of the suffering she put them kids through. Wow. So they drug it out, then they went on and put out her misery. One, one person asks, uh, what's the connection between uh, Big Mama and the lady uh, Bear? Bear, the lady you put on, on the show. Uh, is, is Big Mama speaking the truth to her? Uh, oh, you talking about the chief Mama Bear? Yeah, Mama Bear. Right. Okay. So now I got to explain this part because it's important. In the total structure, Mama Bear in North America is the highest um, mother rank. The get the title of Mama Bear over here is like getting the title of um, matriarch elephant in Africa. Right. So it's like a real high title. Um, she is like one of the ones who sit in um, Big Mama's personal court. Them sisters that I showed you, uh, Mama Bear, Chief Warhorse, um, Sister Aiello from uh, Aiti, and it's another sister out of uh, New Orleans. When this shit happened, those are going to be some of the biggest deal sisters y'all going to see. And uh, uh, Sister Myra, 
um, Dr. G, they gonna all be part of um, Mother Khadijah's inner court. Those are the collection of wise women. It's gonna turn out to be a total of 13 of them when it's done. So it's gonna, a couple of them gonna come from Asia, a couple gonna come from Africa, a couple gonna come from Europe. Uh, then you're gonna have a few of them coming from um, the islands, the Pacific islands, and then you have one come from Australia to uh, make sure that everybody get, they just do from these tyrants as they exit out for good. So uh, yeah, she, she, she very much speak what she's supposed to speak for Big Mama. That's why she was telling y'all the slave shit that we went through it so because it was part of the conjure war the slaves for okay so the dirty moors was the ones who was first put in the bondage over here as melanated people and we didn't know they wasn't us you got to read david walker's appeal pull that book up in the um on Google so they could see what it looked like hey, if I fuck with it if I shut us down it'll... oh oh yeah I forgot so David Walker's appeal David Walker is Writing in the appeal, talking about who is these Negroes um, over here that these pale people got in bondage. And the other chiefs told him, stay out of that. That don't got nothing to do with us. Hmm. Right. But a lot of us don't go that far back in our history, so we don't know. So anyway, what ended up happening was they let the, the, the servants off the plantation and gave them something called meritorious manumission, right? Which is trustee status to Rome. You're still a slave wherever you go, whatever job you get, part of your paycheck has to go to the corporation and they called it taxes. Hmm. So it was all just a repositioning of the stock. They let some people out of physical bondage to put everybody in mental bondage. Next question. Oh, I got one for you. Shout out to brother DJ Jason J. He says, what is the correlation between death and rain? Death and rain. Death well, you got to remember, rain is a symbol for spirit. Water. Water is a symbol for spirit. Death is a symbol for the absence of spirit. Right? So when you, the, there's no direct correlation, but there's an indirect correlation. And it's all in the symbolism because the empty vessel is the dead vessel, but the one that is filled with the water is the living soul. And the rain uh, is the symbol of all of our individual spirits falling to the earth. So if you imagine Big Mama as a big bladder of water and each one of them drops that fall from her is one of us. Mm. That's the best way to look at it. I can explain it. And death is when they evaporate and go back to Big Mama. One person saying, can you explain how, how the New and Old Testament has been uh, dang it, my damn thing cut off. There was a problem with your server. Hold up. Damn, it cut off. Hold up. Can you hear me, bro? I can hear you. Okay, all right, damn. Hold up. Right when I was reading the question, it just took the chat down. Uh, <clears throat> Let me see if I can find it on my other. Oh, it says, oh, okay. All right, so uh, somebody wants you to break down the old negative and uh, DNA and the uh, being universal blood type. Uh, what's the like? What's the difference between the uh, the blood type, like the old? A, B, and uh, like it's O, Y, O is universal blood type, O negative. That's because O negative doesn't have any. Okay, so going into this blood thing, it's going to give a lot of people uh, a lot of uh, false leads because the blood has been interrupted from the typing system. Mm -hmm. Because we had to give one drop of blood changes the blood type of an individual from his traditional family bloodline. Right, so we're talking about antigens. When you're talking about uh, a universal donor doesn't have any antigens that would cause the person receiving the blood to reject the blood. 
the O blood is the universal donor, O negative. O positive is also, it can donate to any other positive, um, but it not so much of the negative. O negative can donate to everybody. Mm -hmm. Has no antigens. So a person can have A blood, AB blood. So it's like an elixir of life, right? So one of the things that you do but you find that they was doing, they learned in the Lazarus Project that if you can get a young person before puberty blood and then you can put it into an adult, you can revitalize his youth for about five years. Hmm. Right. But this it boils down blood typing, right, deals with antigens and um, rhesus factors. So when you're talking about the positive negative, you're talking about the rhesus factor, and the rhesus factor is what they call the monkey factor in the blood. Okay. But I don't really get into a lot of the blood type and information because people use it for discrimination. Okay. I'm better than you because I got type O blood. No, yeah. you ain't. I bet you you can't whoop my ass. <laughs> Right, so your your blood type don't make you better than somebody. Yeah, yeah go ahead. it don't make you worse than somebody either. I got beat. Okay, then people know though. I'm doing a tape on it though. Uh, yeah, what about? Hey, shout out Earthborn. We got you, Earthborn. Hey, 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 brother Rod. What is your top five books that, that if you would tell somebody to read these, if you don't read no other five books, what are your top five books you would tell somebody to read? Uh, it depends on who I'm talking to because I wouldn't give two people the same top five. Okay, all right. But uh, five books that's essential for everybody to read. Uh, one is The Science of Breath. Um, one is, uh, let me see, Out With the Devil by Napoleon Hill. Oh, yeah, I got I think, uh, I think I got Anthony Robbins. Awakening the Sleeping Giant Within, um, The Art of War by Sun Tzu. I got that one. Um, uh, let me see. One more that's essential. Uh, it's a little small set that I would probably refer to as called Masters of the Far East. It's like a seven, five or six book series, seven book series, but it's, 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 it's a headbanger. But I can get book references all day, depending on who I'm talking to. I'm not gonna give two people the same references, right? They study style. They study style of what they, uh, how, how far they ahead of the game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I found out a long time ago that if I have a conversation with a person and then I want to leave them with some research material, listening to the questions they ask, I can tailor made a um, series of ten books that'll help them break free from their rut. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay, we're gonna take one more. Um, okay. Yep. All right, we got one more, man, for the brother Rod Haynes. Shout out to brother DB. Uh, he says, What is the great flash and will we see one in our lifetime? I think I'm not familiar with what I think, I think when he said the great flash, he referred to a super, uh, supernova. Uh, you heard me? Brother Rod, did it cut off? Damn, they got us. Yo. Yeah, just hope we don't see no supernova. Yeah, you see a supernova, that's a wrap, my brother. That's a black hole. That's yeah, if you see a Go ahead. Yeah, if you see a supernova, this is this a done deal. Ain't no ain't no sense trying to recover from that. You don't want to see a supernova with your naked eye because you're too close to it. Okay. The light it's, it's just like a nuclear explosion. You will you will instantly evaporate just how uh just off watching. Uh too at a too close of a distance because it's so much gamma rays. Coming from off of that uh, that explosion, and then when it explodes, it sucks back in, and then sometimes it creates a supernova. It depends on what type of star it is. If it's like a sometimes it a supernova and turn into a, a neutron star, and then it'll start it'll start its whole life cycle over with. Oh, but it depends on what phase. Like they believe that uh, Betelgeuse is finna supernova, but but we got technology. Uh, the Anunnaki's got technology to prevent uh, a star from supernova. Cause we create those stars. All you gotta do is replace the light bulb before it blow out. <laughs> mm -hmm. all light bulbs, huh? Yeah, I'm listening to you, Adam. Hey, yeah. uh, sister, put in here. I'm it. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. 
Um, Divine Culture Talk 99.9%. She said, Brother Ryan, say letting us know and be aware. I'm here with my six-year-old and she and she owned it. So you tell your six-year-old sister that she got a piece of gold in her heart. The better she feel, the bigger that piece of gold get. And don't let nobody make her feel bad to make her gold shrink. It's the spiritual and psychological significance to telling children that. Because they get to understand that the difference in um, people that uh, bring their energy down versus people that lift their energy up. And they all, they'll be programmed to know the things that make your heart glow is the things that you continuously do. And the things that make you feel bad inside is the things you don't want to do. And that makes the goal grow to always pursue that, which makes that heart feel happy. Because the goal grow when the heart is happy. Hmm. You got about two minutes. You can take one more if you want to take it. I'm looking in here now to see um, if it's uh, this red class was fire. Every time you come on, we get some. I get a new piece of jewel that I can add to my game. That's the whole goal, Elder. Each one teach when we all gonna reach some. Uh, yeah, man. That 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 the hairline joint. This nigga got that same hairline. I don't want to fuck with it to cut it out. I know if it, so, like, man, we got to come back on this one. We got to come back and do a class, nothing but on genetical traits. Like, niggas receding hairlines, niggas with certain type of jaw lines. Mm hmm. That shit, like, the, even like in that book, even for Forbidden Knowledge and that other book I got called The Black Silks, it goes into people having different types of feet type, like flat foot. Like, my son, he got flat. I don't got flat foot, but my son, he got flat. Both of my sons got flat feet. And, they, and, they, and my wife, she got flat feet, so I guess they get it from her. But that flat feet is a trait, and then the arch feet, and then the, the, the certain way your toes are slanted. It's a certain type of tribe that got toes like that. We need to go. I mean, need to put something together on it, man. You know, so we can go to class on it. Hey, look, Chris, the great silver tree, to explain how the New Testament, and the Old Testament, was swapped out. They wasn't swapped out. The oh, yeah. Old Testament was rope after the New Testament as a backstory because they didn't have a backstory to uh, to as a foundation for the New Testament. <clears throat> and the reference for that is Dr. Bean gave a whole discourse on the Old Testament being written after the New Testament and the Quran was written after that. Well, I just uh, seen them crocodiles. Uh, Jason Johnson, I got an herbalist that can help you with your dialysis situation because um, you got to kickstart your kidneys from not being working in 15 years to coming back online. That's if they still there. So being on um, dialysis 15 years, so you might have to have a healing bed or a, a healing chamber. And then he's, he got to take, take a lot of iron and for potassium phosphate. Mm -hmm. But it's, he got to have an interview in order to know um, um, certain the best course of treatment. He got to have an interview with his, with the herbalist. So I sent him to talk to Dr. Pitt, see what Dr. Pitt could do to help him. And um, if Dr. Pitt gets stuck, he would call me and say, this is what I got. And I'm stuck right here. But he don't get stuck very often. That's good shit right there. Thank you, Sister Sapphire. She said, Jason Johnson, duck, duck, go, mid biz. They have one in PA, more to come. Also, uh, monoatomic gold, monoatomic silver can aid in your body's to overall recovery from physical ailments. Oh, yeah, they starting to wind down now. She said, um, Sister Sci-Fi, she said, damn, I just said that, mid bed and PA. That's because I was telling them what you said, sister. Yeah, mid bed and PA. PA, mm -hmm. you mean Philly? 
Somewhere in Pennsylvania. Yeah. I'm just reaching for him. Oh, he said he never got a transplant. Um, what are twin flames supposed to do for this planet? <clears throat> twin flames ain't supposed to do shit for this planet. They supposed to do something for each other. And if more twin flames did what they supposed to do for each other and get out their egos, the planet would be able to recover much faster because the people wouldn't be in the stupor they in. <clears throat> twin flames is not, everybody don't got a twin flame. Some people came in whole soul groups of as many as 300,000 people. And some of them came in in pairs. Those are twin flames. Then some of them came in in groups of four, six, and seven. All of these different, they call soul groupings. They come in from a common stellar source ener energetically. <clears throat> and they find each other on Earth in order to help each other break the uh, amnesia 